Are you an entrepreneur, but you really struggle with nailing down your purpose or really finding your way? Have you thought about looking for help by way of a therapist or maybe a life coach, but you're just not sure who can really help you through this? Well, by the end of this video, I am going to give you four tips that will help you nail down who it is that you really need to see and how you can get your business off the ground. Who's ready to be the badass boss that you've always imagined? For the best advice on business branding, business building, and overall general information on entrepreneurship, subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you hit the bell so that you're reminded every week when I upload a video on Mondays and Thursdays. If this is the first time that you visited my channel, welcome. If you are a return watcher, welcome back. I am Dr. Michelle Scoggins, a licensed clinical psychologist. I own my own private practice. Through my journeys of success, failures, mishaps, and haterism, I have found that my perfect clientele that I love to work with are entrepreneurs because I know how to come up with answers. Even when you've heard no so many times, I find solutions for my clients in very similar fashions that I found for myself, except for now I have more education and I can mix your situation with psychology and come up with a great answer. I love to work with people who are plagued by the underdog syndrome and just feel like that their entrepreneur dreams are never gonna come to life. And I help you create ways to be successful and to push your business forward. So you're likely watching this video because you are looking for ideas and ways or people that can help guide your business. So let me start off by telling you four key differences that I see between therapists and life coaches as it pertains to business. The first, and I think maybe the main key point is the difference between education training and certification. A therapist has anywhere between six to 10 years of schooling plus um, training that they've had to go through after schooling as well as licensing through the state in which they practice. If they are not currently licensed, then they have to work under a person who does have a license in the state which they live in. Therapists have learned things about human behavior, thought processes, learning patterns, and how abuse affects all of these things. In addition, they are trained to be able to provide mental health diagnosis and treatment that is based upon research. However, there are many therapists out there that have transitioned from a model of illness, which that is what we've learned in school, um, to a model of health, which is more on the end of what a life coach focuses their practice. Now, in terms of talking about life coaches, their education can vary because there are no standard practices of care or standard requirements currently in the United States that say for someone to title themselves as a life coach, they have to have these certain requirements. So essentially anyone can take their name, slap life coach on the end of it, and that changes who they are to the general public. So if you are looking for a life coach, I recommend that you research that person, you look at their background, their education, other clients that they have helped and, and ways that you feel that they may be able to help you despite not having that level of education that a therapist may have. Oftentimes a life coach settles into a niche where they help a particular type of clientele. Oftentimes that is based off of some of their education or even their own life experiences. The second thing to consider is how long do you wanna work with this person? Now a therapist can jump right in, look at ways that you think, patterns of thought that really get in the way of you pushing your business forward, 
and they could teach you skills that you can then relate to other situations as they come up. So a therapist can really get in and begin to understand you as a whole and teach you some great skills that will help you in and out of business. A therapist can look at self-limiting beliefs and find the origin of those. For example, think about when you were a kid. If mom and dad just let you give up really easily as soon as things got tough, then you might find yourself in your current business adventures when the getting gets hard that you wanna just give up and try something new. Well, a therapist can jump in there and help you to understand those limiting beliefs, where they came from, how to resolve them so that when they come up in different areas of your life, that you're more prepared to challenge yourself and not allow those things to get in the way of what you're doing. However, a life coach follows their own program model. So they have a one size fits all program that's set up for their people most often and that you follow that, but it does not incorporate your own particular qualities um, that may be either good or bad as a way to help you progress your business. Therefore, each time an issue comes up, you're likely to call your life coach back up and say, hey, this is going on. How do you help me through this situation? Where a therapist can really give you these life skills that aren't based in illness whatsoever and help you in ways in the future when things pop back up that you know how to solve them yourself. Comment below if you've considered hiring a therapist or a life coach to help you in your entrepreneur journey. And if you have, tell me the most helpful tip that you learned from that person and whether you decided to go with a therapist or with a life coach. The third thing is how much do you want this person to know about you just to get your business going? So for a life coach, they typically only need to know about what the problems that you're currently having in relation to your business. So they will incorporate your needs and mix it in with their program that they give to all of their clients and help you with that particular situation. So if it's your business startup, they will discuss things that you need to incorporate, such as planning, a business model, logos, um, how to get your business out there. They will give you some ideas of how to just set that business up and it will be structured on their own knowledge of business, their own past clients, um, and their program that they're offering. They may incorporate strengths and weaknesses because oftentimes life coaches will look at those particular things. However, for a therapist, that person can go much deeper than just what the plan currently is. But again, you have to let the therapist in your life a little bit more than what you would a life coach. So if you're willing to dig deeper into things um, about your own life and your past that can be helpful in building your business, then maybe a therapist is the way to go. For instance, about myself a little bit is in my third year of grad school, I was having a really hard time with a professor. He was very judgmental, very stern, even though I tried my best and tried to began to individuate myself as a clinician. He really wanted to have that upper hand over his students. And um, he was very disrespectful in that manner. I had a very hard time with this person and, and it almost got me to a point where I wanted to give up. But once I went to therapy, I learned how this person related to me emotionally like one of my parents. And so when I come across a person that seems very parental or very judging, I have a very difficult time with those type of people. Hence probably the reason why I'm a good entrepreneur because I don't like taking directions from people. I like doing things my own way and I like to be able to grow in that manner. But I had to learn about my own self and how this person and how my past 
really kind of clash and affected me in a great way. So the last area I'm gonna talk about that really makes therapists and life coaches different is how they apply their services to their clients. I've said that kind of throughout the video that life coaches follows a program that's set up by them. Um, the, it is very particular to their program. It is based off of their own experiences, maybe some of their training, and it is a one size fits all type of model. There may be some wiggle room within that model, but not a great deal. It's kind of like you purchase that program, they work with you, and that's what you get. As far as a therapist, the therapist wants to learn about you, not what program you're gonna be in. So a therapist wants to know about you, how you function, how you function in your business, but also how you function as a person and your environment at home. So we put that all together as a way to help you function better overall, but then that incorporates your business within that. So a therapist just goes deeper into you as a human, how you think, how you do things, what happens when the shit hits the fan and you've got to make a decision? Do you run and hide? Do you wait to, for the storm to blow over or do you hit it head on? So a therapist really gets into you as a person and how you operate to help you use your skills, use your strengths, find your weaknesses, hire someone to help you with those weaknesses so that it doesn't self-destruct your business, but they get into all of these aspects of you, which you have to allow them in, but they can help you in multifaceted ways. That is probably why many of us therapists have transitioned over to becoming more of lifestyle coaches but we have that added benefit of that education. So we know how to work the two of them together. When you're looking for someone to help you, consider what that person is gonna provide you and how much they're going to charge for it. Just because they charge more doesn't mean they're providing you more resources or more value. You have to look at their past clientele and who they've helped to understand like, are they gonna be able to help you and is this valuable for you? So life coaches can be, in my opinion, a little pricey in comparison to myself as a psychologist. We're pretty neck and neck, but I have a great more deal of education and um, can apply that to the entrepreneur in you and boom your business. So I'm not saying don't go with a life coach. I'm saying evaluate all of your avenues and figure out what works best for you. Hopefully this video has helped you to kind of sort out some questions that you have about building and progressing your business and using a guide to help you get there. I hope the takeaway that you got from this video is to research your potential guide to see their credentials, um, their education, their past clients that they have taken to success and to evaluate your overall need. Do you need a therapist or do you need a life coach? No matter who you decide upon using, I think using a guide or a mentor is very, very valuable with building your business, especially because this is a new thing that you're coming upon and those people can really help you avoid a lot of pitfalls. If you would like to learn more about how I can help you, I've added a link below to my monthly newsletter. Please sign up. I send out things about business and tips and tricks out monthly to help you propel your business. Plus as an added benefit, I have added a free workbook, the link is below, that helps you plan out your exit from the corporate world. What better way to start your entrepreneurship than deciding how to do it and to start your entrepreneur life. Also, I've linked below some other videos related to business so that you can continue to build on your knowledge 
and ensure when you make that step out there that you become the boss you always wanted to be. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends or with other people that you feel would be perfect entrepreneurs. And until next time, be a boss.